everyone. Today's what it's about. When you have Hanaki, but you don't want to distract Baka from his future. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Love is a sweet disease that either tears you apart or mends you together. Unfortunately for you, the disease struck. It snuck into your lungs and grew you until a tightness in your chest became present. It's agonizing to wake up every day and go to class, knowing you'll get your ass kicked. Recovery girl, they agonized you, in the final nail in the shift coffin. You have Hanaki, a well-known illness that forces you to decide your fate. You already accepted yours by the time you left her office. But that didn't stop the aching inside you. Hey, Wyon, you doing all right? You glance up to see Kirishima crunching in front of your desk. He has a deep frown on his face making you feel guilty for wearing them. Yep, just a minor headache. You lied. You haven't looked at yourself in the mirror for a while. You must look like a mess. But how do you tell your friends that you're coughing up, pink petals? You can't. You're pretty pale. Akutas eyes out to let you leave early. He places his forehand against your forehead, feeling your temperature. You feel right. Maybe it's an uncoming flu. You try not to laugh. A flu would be so much better. Even with a runny nose. I'm sure it's nothing. I really have to start for the upcoming test, though. You brush him off. His lips pressed together in a thin line. But he leaves you alone. You return to your notes. Now realizing there are scribbles from being in a haze. You sigh heavily turning around to face Baco. His desk is right behind you. How lucky. He gets to watch you suffer. Can I borrow your notes? You tap his paper with your pen. He glares at you, covering his notebook with his hands. Didn't you take notes yourself? He grumbles. Yeah, but I want to make sure mine are correct. You whine. Of course yours aren't correct. They're literally just wavy lines. No way. It's not my problem you didn't focus. Her turns back to writing. Fine, I'll ask Deku. You have. Notes aren't even that important. You won't be alive long enough to take the test. At least failing is off the table. Your thoughts are stopped as a notebook sounds into your desk. Baka's eyes don't be yours, but you can see a bit of annoyance. Thank you, Baga. You flash on my grin. You swear you see the corner of his lap turn upward, a faint pink covering his cheeks. But your vision is blurred by tears. A blockage in your throat, Thanos and coming shocking. He pushes his notebook back into his hands, quickly covering your mouth with your arm. Your coughing is loud and violent. Disturbing? The class. Maybe I should head back early. You dismiss yourself, ignoring the single petal that escaped. Petals slip past your laps, floating down to your floor. Lots blotches stain the pink surface, reminding you of your future. Your only excuse is Baka's dream. You can distract him from his number one goal. You'll only get in the way of his success. And that's something you refuse to allow. So, if it means suffocating on pedals and your own blood, then that's it. You've accepted this fate. You know it's time. You can hardly breathe, and your chest is too tight. The feeling of dread is hanging over you. It's time. You lean against a tree, deep in the forest. You don't want to be found in your drawn room. Stinking of the place. So disappearing is good enough. You just wish the ground was softer. You shut your eyes, feeling the world around you for the last time. Why on? A girl voice calls out. You don't open your eyes. 
afraid of seeing the person up to here. Seeing him will only cause you more pain. Why, Anne? Wake up. He demands. You continue to ignore him. Your lungs being squeezed. Enough to silence you. Why, Anne? Wake up. You hear movement right beside you. A warm hand cupping your face. You flutter your eyes open, landing on a terrified Baco. He searches for any sign of injury, only seeing the pile of fiddles in your lap. Pooh. He hides his face, but his voice betrays him. You can feel yourself slipping, numbness covering your body. You use the last drops of energy to point to his chest. A faint smile on your face. You hope it's enough for him to understand. He's smart enough. You. You idiot. I love you too. He's got to embrace you. Clinging to you for dear life. Just like that. The doors remove themselves. And the petals. Welding into nothing. Giving your buddy the relaxation it needs. Don't ever leave me. He cradles you. Lifting you off the dirty ground. The rest of the blur. But to remember seeing a recovery girl's office. Vago staying beside you the whole night. Giving you a soft kiss. Before you finally rest. Thank you guys for listening. Um, how was the video? Do you like it? I know I've done a lot of um, Hanahaki disease things. But you know, I just love it. It's amazing. How's your life? How's your day? How's your mom? How's your dad? How's your sisters? How is your bro how are your brothers? I mean, how's how are your sisters? How are your brothers? How's your family? Do you have any favorite song? Do you have a song that you feel like it's just amazing that everyone has to listen to that? Tell me. I gotta listen. Sometimes I just love, um, you know, I don't know. Oh, yeah, and my style is pop, so just give me a pop song, song or, or calm song. Pop song or a calm song because I love both of them. That's the only thing I listen to, I think. My favorite song is Good For You by Olivia Rodrigo, I think. What's yours? Tell me in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye. Love you.